outside. Can we read Matthew 27? From verse 11. From verse 11. I want us to look at ourselves and judge ourselves. Let's write a habit. Many of us, we are not checking our habits. Why? Because the quality of your life is determined by the quality of of your daily habits. Your habits determines the life you live. You can be characterized by the by what you are showing. Which maybe you validated that. Be careful to understand that the habits are very dangerous. Therefore, you need to understand which habits are you showing. What is the meaning of habits? A practice or a tendency something that you are always doing which is hard to give up. It becomes a habit. A habit can be a routine. A routine. Or a standard of life. standard of life demands the ability you have. In other words, the life you are living is coming from your ability. Let me say it again. The life you are living is coming from your abilities. So many people, they know the truth. And they are supposed to do what is right. But they have established some customs, some habits that makes them to fall with the the wrong people. I don't know if you are hearing that. This them. is the time now that you don't judge by looking what other people are saying. Because some people have got their own habits of judging others because of their jealousy or hatred. When habits hinder you from revelation, even if we tell you a revelation, when you have got habits, they make that revelation voice. This is the time where you have to understand that there will be many people that the devil will use to explain you. You need to stand your right. You need to stand your ground. Don't stand with them because of their habits. Don't stand with them because of what they've established. There are things that people establish which really affect them or the revelation that God wants to give them. Today, we are so much dominated by the things which are wrong. Whereas we know the truth. Philippians 4 from verse 4 to 9 there are five habits that we mentioned there, which I want you to learn from them. The first one is joy. Make prayer your habit. Make joy your habit. Make peace your habit. Make, make truth your habit. Make your lessons which is the word of God your habit. Joshua 1 verse Verse 8. Joshua 1 verse 8. I want to tell you why people are failing. I want to tell you that where you are, you have not reached where God wants to take you. 
Don't ever find yourself talking about anybody. But the time when you are supposed to speak about someone, it is the time where you are supposed to be thinking the word of God. If you want to prosper, make sure that you meditate. Do not talk. Meditate the way. Meditate the way. Remove people. The reasons why people are failing to be successful in life. Even here in Charis, we have got many gossipers. And these gossipers, others they are like they are moving forward. But you have not reached them. You can make gossip your own habit. But very soon, that habit will pull you down. Make the word of God your habit. I don't know if you are hearing it. Make the word of God your head. Romans 6. From verse 1. Sin. Sin. Sinful habit. You can still carry on doing one sin. And you make it a habit. Sin can be a habit. Be careful of sin. Listen, the Bible says, God forbid. Look here, judgment comes when you are repeating what is wrong. God always gives us an opportunity to repent. I don't know if you are hearing me. When you start to do something and it's wrong and you see it's wrong, when you repent, you crush what you have done. But when you repent, when you repeat, you are bringing judgment to yourself. Habit can bring judgment. I don't know if you're hearing me. Verse 10, verse 25, verse 25. This one will call it a holy habit. Where we encourage each other to do what is right. Where we encourage each other to worship God and to come together and stand as Christians. If you believe, say amen. Amen. Which habit are you practicing? Some of you, you have mm. practiced habits. You become angry and you carry on being angry not knowing that you are coming to where devil wants you to be. If nobody beg you, you have to prove you are very serious in your anger. This is a very bad habit. You need to encourage each other in following God. This is a holy habit. And listen to this. Holy habit brings forth God's presence. It's a habit that attracts what, where you are worshipping. It brings forth Holy Spirit. I mean, this evil hobbit, sinful one, it brings forth evil spirits. The reasons why people are possessed today is because of habits. It's not because of witchcraft. It's because of habits. Luke 22. Luke 22. 39 to 41. 39 to 41. Jesus was having a habit of prayer. How far do you pray? Because a habit is something that you do it all the time. What makes us to be limited in the things of the spirit is because we are prayerless. Or we pray sometimes. Or we, we pray because we need things. But habits, habits, when you pray and you make prayer a habit, there is no way you won't find a revelation. The revelation is in your prayer. Tell me, revelations are in your prayers. If you are not dreaming anything, check your prayer life. 
If you're not dreaming anything, you don't see anything. There's something that is taking away. You are away. Act 16. From 22 to 29. God can use your, your habits to bring out your miracle. God can use your habits to change the state of your life. We need to know that habits are there. Not as things that bring out character. But things that when God sees them. is attracted by them. And bring out something unique. There are people. Who will fight you by their habits. But the same habits. God will use them. For their salvation. I don't know what you are facing. God wants to change the one who's against you. The one who doesn't understand why you are worshipping God this way. God wants to touch someone who doesn't even understand how you are praying and the way you pray. Our God can use these things that you call them useless. I see this week when my God is raised Raising a standard of life in front of the people who says it's over with you. There are some people who are saying it's over with you. I want to tell them they don't know that the small thing you were doing before God was muttering before him. There's an earthquake that is coming to shake where you are and the crowds of your position is about to change if you believe shout hallelujah. hallelujah many times we have got many things we are questioning about ourselves we have done all we have done all until what we are doing becomes a habit there will be no change. I don't know if you are hearing me. Hallelujah. When you are pressurized, when you are being pressed, injured, what is it that comes out of your mouth? If truly you are saving the one you know, you won't forget that habit. Because whatever you repeat doing becomes part of you. And nobody will take it away from you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I can see some people who are here that God wants to use you out of that habit where it looks like it's over. They a breakthrough that is coming your way. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Don't forget that whatever you do, you do it today, which is wrong. If you do it tomorrow, it will be adding with something. If you read Matthew 26, if you start to read there from verse 13, you will see what happened to Judas. That what he wanted was money. You know, the Bible says he was thief. But later he became a betrayer. It becomes issues of him as a habit. When people give an offering and they come and steal them, later he sold the Messiah. We, we, we are not aware that habits can be promoted to something. When you start to do what is wrong, you, you start to, to sleep around. Your sleeping around will bring lies. Your lies will bring cheating. Money of other people will be wrong. Later is death. There's promotion in all sides. If you are carrying on living a life of a good habit, holy habit you'll find that when you are doing righteousness you start 
to be led. You start to hear from God. You start to do things that, that other people cannot do. You start to win so. You start to win so. You have to be promoted when you are in truth. You have to be promoted. You cannot die there. I see your promotion this week. In the name of Jesus. Tell your, tell your neighbor you don't know me. You cannot judge me by what I do. What I'm doing it serves well for my promotion. I'm going up and I cannot be defeated. In Romans 12 from verse 1 and 2 if truly you want to prove the will of God sacrifice yourself. Amen. Offer yourself. Don't do it once. Make it a habit. Make that a habit. Do that all the time. A habit becomes part of you. I don't know if you are hearing it. Whatever you are doing becomes part of you. If you sleep, sometimes you are not praying. You will be catched one day because you didn't pray. But if you make it a habit, the day the attack comes, you will find out. It will be revealed to you before it comes to you. I pray that you make a habit your life. A Christian life your life. A Christian life as a habit. If you believe, say amen. If you believe, say amen. Today, all these wrong habits, all these attitudes, all these characters which are wrong, they must live in the name of Jesus. Can you stand up? We pray.